Hi guys, welcome back. I thought I would do the makeup and <laughs> put it on. I've um, washed my face and put my moisturizer on. This stuff kind of feels, well, I'm older, so I'm, I've got to get rid of the wrinkles and everything. Let me take my glasses off if I can see up close. Um, I got this um, retinol. It's the generic version of the ROC, R-O-C, Retinol Core uh, Eye Cream. There it is. And it is retinol eye cream. It helps reduce crow's feet, lines, and wrinkles around the eyes. Lines, wrinkles around the eyes. <laughs> so I've been using, I haven't been consistent with it. That's my fault. But for the last three or four days, I have been using it. And they're still there. I don't think they're ever going to go away unless I get Botox. I'm not doing Botox. So I put this on first. And then I have, this one is my favorite, but I'm out of it. I don't have any left. This is L'Oreal's um, Vitalift Triple Power Deep Acting Moisturizer. It smells really good, and I think that's why I like it. It smells good. But L'Oreal has a lot of um, different stuff. I like, I tend to like their stuff. So I do usually do this one, moisturizer, but I'm out of it. So I have this one. It's by L'Oreal, and it is also a wrinkle expert for 45 plus. I didn't get the 50 plus. I probably should because I'm, I'm over 50. But this is day and night moisturizer. I don't put it on at night. But this stuff tends to make your face feel a little... Um, to me, it feels tacky. But I don't know. Maybe I didn't rub it in well enough. So those are the two things I did already. Now, this is so funny. Y'all going to laugh at me. It's been a while since I've had to do makeup. And... Things have changed through the years and everything, but I have little papers here. I found my old paper, and I just wrote down some notes on it about um, the brow bone and stuff, uh, how to do, this is for your eyes. I'm missing a page because it doesn't talk about the first part, but um, how to do, how to put the colors on for your eyelid which is pretty much a no-brainer but nowadays you can do different things and everything so I did write down what you got to do for that and this was stuck in my stuff I found that and then I found I think this is what you do I think because I watched a video who was I watching I was watching Manny I think anyway and I was watching him because he did like a full-on the whole deal from moisturizing on over. So I wrote down the steps. I'm like, man, I hope I get it right. <laughs> I don't know. But I had my old one said primer, foundation, con concealer, contour, setting powder, blush, and highlight. And then you do your eyes and your lips and everything. So that's my other little paper. But the one I wrote down from Manny's is a little bit different. It's Moisturize Prime Foundation Concealer, and I wrote down where you would put it. Like, I know I need it here because i got bags. I want to try to hide a lot of these wrinkles right here. And I do have some age spots that kind of stick up a little bit, and my glasses kind of indent my nose. And, you know, but typically when I was younger, I had a ton of freckles. You can still kind of see them. And I hate them. I always wanted to, I always envied everybody's makeup because it looked so smooth and didn't have any of that. So I wrote down under the eye, nose, chin, forehead. That's pretty much it. Then powder, then contour, highlight, and then all the eyes and everything. That's what I wrote down from him. So we'll probably go by his, <laughs> not my old one. And then because I have hooded eyes, I always have, there's a lot of meat right here, extra skin, but my brow bone is like, comes over my eye. 
That hurt made my eyes water. But look at that. <laughs> Isn't that gross? That is so gross. So I try not to... Oh, it's like plucking your eyebrows. But my skin, and normally if you do that here, it tells you you're dehydrated. I drink a ton of water. I just think I'm getting old and I'm getting extra skin. <laughs> so I don't know. But I did write down how to do a hooded eye. And, um, which I haven't done in a long time. There's a lot of, what I wrote down, there's a lot of, yeah. So, I'll just do it the way I normally do it, and then we'll go from there. But I wanted to make sure I did the steps. So, I am 50 plus. I am 50, uh, hold on, I'm 54. So, and I can't go get my hair done because everything is closed. So, I typically have dark, you can see, that's the color of my hair that's supposed to be. And it looks so funny because I'm only i only gray right here. That's it. The rest of it is still normal color. So, when I went and colored, she tried to blend it with some blonde uh, or whatever. So when it grew out, it would kind of blend in. Well, it didn't blend in. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this time. I wanna get rid of it. I'm not ready to turn all gray, even though it's the in thing. No, not for this, not for this one. I wanna get rid of it. So I have a big pile right in front of me and I kind of put it in the sections that we're supposed to do this in. So this should be fun. So, first off, it says moisturize. I did all of that. And I have these two primers. So, I'm not sure which one to use. This one, this is Hard Candy Sure Envy Primer Perfecting. It says smooth lines and pores for a smooth finish. That sounds good. And this one is by e.l.f. This is the one that when I watched all these people do makeup, and they did drugstore, because I'm not going to do high-end stuff. I don't think, I think I have a couple of things high-end, but as far as the stuff, I went drugstore all the way. And so I went to e.l.f. And this is Matte Putty Primer. So I kept the little box. Because it, it, you think they would put stuff on the bottom to tell you, but it doesn't. It's on the box. It says, this modifying skin perfecting putty has a velvetly, velvet, bleh, velvetly, you know, texture that glides efficiently over the skin, smoothing over imperfections infused with, with cooling clay and white charcoal to help absorb excess oil and grip makeup for all day wear. The result, a smooth, poreless, shine-free matte complexion. So it says to apply a thin, even amount to clean, moisturize skin prior to makeup. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. So I guess after primer, it's foundation. So I've always used this one, so I think we're gonna try this one just because it's new and so we will try this. It doesn't say how to put it on, but boy, isn't that pretty. Isn't that nice and, look at that, nice and smooth. Ooh. That feels weird. You would think that it would feel. <sighs> How do you know if you have enough on? I don't know. So I'll just start here. And I know you shouldn't push the skin. So I will try not to do that. I don't know how you put this. It's kind of cool. We'll put it over those spots. And now my skin, as I've gotten older, I always used to be oily here and here and here. But as I've gotten older, I'm not like that. So I would guess my skin, as I've gotten older, is normal to dry because it's not it's not oily by any means. Well, we're interrupted for a second.
put all of this on. Um, feels good. So I hope I did it right, I guess. So there's that. So next is foundation. Now I have this, um, look at this little trial thing. This is Too Faced. So this is kind of, um, Too Faced is kind of high-end, but not high-end, more high-end drugstore, I guess. And it's Hangover 3-in-1. And this is a replenishing primer setting spray. So I know after you do your foundation, you can spray to have it set there. So I'm going to try that. I have this one. This is the this is the finishing one. This is the primer spray. So I got both of these Scandinavia stuff. I like I like the smell of these. So I do have these. And um so I I don't wear my glasses to see if I away. I can't, you know, I have to put it out for best result shake well apply just prior to makeup squirt two or three times okay so we'll put this on first this is like a primer spray so we'll do this Ooh, I like the smell of it okay so I did that prior to makeup that wasn't on my list here so I guess you know, after you put this primer on, put that primer on. Now, do you put your primer for your eyeshadows on when you do all the rest of your primer? Or do you do that prior to putting on the eye makeup? That's one question I had that nobody answered. So I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. I'm going to wait to do it until I'm ready to put that stuff on. So, okay. Next, foundation. I have three different foundations. I have the True Match L'Oreal, which I do like. I have the Fit Me one, and I have Wet n' Wild's Photo Focus one, and I have ELF, Flawless Finish. So I don't know which one to use. This one is matte poreless. So I'm thinking that this one will make your pores look smaller. So we're gonna try this one. I think this one stinks too, I'm not sure. One of these stinks. So I have four and I'm not sure the shade, but if I put it on my hand, you know, like right here, it matches. Let's see if this is the one that smells. No, okay, we'll try the Fit Me one and see what happens. And next time I do makeup, I can try one of these ones. But I got two colors in this one. This one is N2 Ivory, and this one is W3 Nude Beige. One is just a tad bit darker. I think this one, once I've been out in the sun, would be, be better. But for now, we will use, we will use the Fit Me one. So how do you guys put your foundation on? I have a, is this one? Is this one the foundation one? I think it is, let me see. I had them all marked. That one, they don't tell you. See, and I need them to tell me. They have, they have numbers on them, but the numbers don't do crap for me. I need to know what they are. This one's similar to this one. What's this one? That's a blush. This one is more of a blush. I think the foundation brush is powder brush. I have one of those. Okay, what's this one? This one's pretty. I have this one. So I'm just gonna put it on with my hand. And I know you can use a, I've got one of these, but I gotta go get it wet. Maybe we'll use one of these. We'll try it. Let me go get this wet real quick and I'll be right back. I got it. It's, it's nice and damp. So I guess we'll put this on. And this is um, one I got from um, Family Dollar. And this one I got from Family, this one's harder than this one. This one's way softer, I like this one. So I guess we need to shake this up. Okay. 
let's put whoop, some color on. Probably need more than that. I can always add more, right? Need another one up there. Okay. All right, we'll see how this goes. And this is the Fit Me Matte Poreless in 125 Nude Beige. So do you kind of rub it first or do you use this? I guess. I don't know. Get it off my finger. I don't know if it, the sponge picked it all up. See, I think the sponge picked it all up. It always looks like it bunches right here because I have a dark circles right there. Let me see, I have my other mirror. I should probably take that off. Let's see. Hmm. I have Wrinkly skin. What do they call that skin that's wrinkly in older people? Older people. I'm making fun of myself. I'm not that old. I know that. I'm not 90. But they have that, what is that called? That creepy, I call it creepy, creepy skin. And it just needs to be tightened up, you know. And I saw somewhere there's a a powder that you can put on. That sounds good. Well, how does that look? Doesn't look much different to me. Well, in this screen, looking on here, it doesn't. But looking in the mirror, it does. It looks good. You don't want to be too cakey, right? So that part looks good. I need to get a lighted mirror. One of these, but lighted. So I can see over here. And it's got dust on it. You can see how much I do makeup. I don't do it that, that often. Okay. So, there's some close-up. <laughs> What's next on the list? Concealer. Okay. This, I have this. This is Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. And you can tell I've used it a lot. <laughs> Let's see if it comes off. Okay, it does. So we'll put some right there. What did it say to... Um, I don't know how you get... Oh, you have to push it up. Okay. Right here, right here. Let's see, put some more on here. We'll go down here, we'll get rid of the age spots there. There's a couple right there. And everybody does like a triangle right here, right? It's like a triangle and we'll do these wrinkles up here. Where's my other age spot? Well, if I miss it, that's okay. Okay, now you got to blend that in too, I guess. So we will do that. We'll blend that in with everything else. Let me know how I'm doing. I don't know how I'm doing unless you tell me. 
I don't know. I should have up, while I'm doing this, I should put up another video and wa be watching it as I'm doing this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? I don't know if YouTube would like that. I've seen these little teeny ones for this. I could probably get. All right. I don't know. How did that do? How did that do? I don't know. Looks pretty good, I guess. Okay. Did that blend in pretty good? I think so. I don't think it helped my my circles right here, but we put it on anyway. Maybe I need some different concealer. It did looks good, I guess. Okay. What is next? Um, powder. Okay. For powder, I guess let's try this little setting spray stuff. Or do you do that after the powder? Let's do that after the powder. I'm not sure. And okay, I have two powders. Actually, this is a finishing powder. I thought I think this is different. You put this on different. This is a finishing powder. This is long lasting press powder by Remmel. And I have an e.l.f. age uh, high definition powder. It's white. So I don't know which one we use first. So I would assume it would be the setting powder. Ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay, powder brush. Powder brush! This is a Loxy 514. Oh, this is blush. It says blush on it. Okay. That's contour. Okay, so let's use this one. This one is powder. This is just an LA Colors one. So, ooh. Wow. Okay. We will put this powder on. This is kind of temperamental. Powder on this powder, it makes a mess. Look at that. Okay, this powder. What's next? Okay, contour. Okay, let's move the powders out of the way. This one I really like because it's white, it's so pretty. Look at that one. It makes a mess when it comes off, though. Okay, contour. I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. So I doubt very much. I guess you can blend them together. Because, let's see. Oh, look at that. It has instructions on it. Yay! <laughs> okay. Contouring made easy. Highlight, illuminate. Contour blend. Okay. So I'm not, I guess that's used for highlighting. So we'll try the contour part if I can open this. Okay. And they don't, let's see, what's this one say? Large angle. We'll use this one. This one is a Luxie. Loxy 504. Oh, don't need very much of this either. Okay. I know you do right here. 
and right here. Right here. We do a cross here. I did not write that down though. I need to write that down where you would put it. So I'm just remembering from where um, I watched them do it. And I don't know if I'm, it's supposed to make you right here, right here, right here, on the cheekbone, underneath the cheekbone, underneath the chin, and that, and I guess you can get a smaller brush. This one's called Glamour Dolls. And get a little one to do down your nose to make your nose look skinny if you have a big nose or you don't like your nose and make it look skinnier down here so, and then I guess you just blend it in okay Let's blend it in. I don't know how you blend it in, but I guess you do this. Blend it over. Blend it in. Okay. Added a little color. Okay, what's next? How is that? I don't know if you can tell. My hair is all over the place, guys. I'm going to curl my bangs and come back after and put my hair down so you can see after how it looks once I put all this stuff on. Okay. Contour did that highlight. Um, I guess for contouring, you can bronze too. And I have this little bronzer I got when I was getting ep Ipsy. This is Lisa Frank Glamour Dolls. Oh, that's what this is for. This one, bronzer. And this one is XOXO. And it looks like the same color as that. So, so it's bronzer. This one is Bitten and Bronzed Matte Bronzer. So is bronzer different than contour? I guess that's my question. I don't know. So... We're not going to use that because I don't know. Okay, highlight. Highlight. I bought this. This is another Too Faced. This is the Diamond Light. This is so pretty. I think you got to put on blush first. I didn't write that in here. So I'm going to have to watch more videos. So after contouring, you've got to add blush. And I always use this one. I got this one a long time ago. Baked Blush and Brighten. Top tropic hues, and this is Laura Gella right here for blush. And I know I use that brush, I know what one I use for that one. That's another angled one. This one, this I got two of these Loxy ones, so and I always use this blush. This blush lasts me forever, so we'll put that on. We will put that on. I am not right-handed, so we'll put a little bit of that on. My cheeks are always red, so um, so it'll add just a teeny bit of more pink than what they usually are. Okay, now highlight. And this is, I love the box. I saw this on, I watch, I came across these girls. I don't know, the girls, young women, made me laugh. I love them. And if you ever watch my video, love you girls. I think you're awesome. I've already ordered something from both of you. And I just love you guys. You make me laugh. You bring my spirit up. 
and it is Thania, um, uh, what's her last name? Starts with a G, Gonzalez, and Sharla, it's Beauty Room. Oh my gosh, when they get together. Oh, it reminds me of me and my best friend when we were younger and we'd go do these stupid stuff. They are so cute, but I love their rooms and I've watched a couple of their tutorials. I think I'm going to see if Thenya and Charlotte both have another full on start to finish um, routine. I know they do like eyes and stuff like that, but I need to see the full routine. And I know they're younger than me, but still, if I can get the, the process right, and, now I, and then I just have to find the correct makeup for my skin type, you know? But anyway, if you go check them out, they're so funny. And But I saw this on one of their um, little makeup tours that they do, and I'm like, ooh, that's gorgeous. And it is gorgeous. I love the little box. I love the box that it comes in. But isn't this pretty? So, so, so pretty. Okay. Let's add a little. It's almost too pretty to use. <laughs> okay. Let's add a little highlight. Little highlight. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. If they didn't live so far away, I would uh, schedule a time to go have them do my makeup for me. That'd be so fun. They just are hilarious. Okay. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, see the, right, right there. I love it. It is beautiful. So there's the highlight. I got that done. All right, now the next step is, this is a long video, <laughs> sorry guys, but I guess now we are at, do you do your brows first or do you do your eyes first? Probably brows, we'll do brows first. So I have eyebrow defining a gel, it's clear. And I have, where's the other one? That's primer. Okay, I'm even going to put lashes on, guys. Okay, so it looks like this is the eyebrow gel. So, and it's clear. So we're just going to put this on. And my brows, they used to drive me nuts when I was younger. They used to be so thick and I didn't, I didn't like them. So when I started becoming girly because <laughs> I was always a tomboy I had them done and I ever since then I try to keep them thinner and um not that dark I see these girls with these dark eye eyebrows and I'm like Ooh. it looks great on them but I don't know if I could pull it off just a little bit darker than what they are, I'm good. I'm really good. Okay, I have the Brow Envy by Too Faced. And my things are falling out. That didn't sound good. These. Depending on the drastic look you want. This one is so sweet. So too pretty. And I really don't know. Oh, because they're wider. Okay. And this one is super sexy. And these are, the, the size of them is different. Like this one is thick. I mean, like thick. I'm not using that one. I don't want to go up that big. Too pretty or so sweet. Let's do too pretty. And because I'm not proficient at this. And this comes with a little spoolie. And the little brow gel thing. And I think, do I have a bigger one? I think I have a, yes. Um, whoops, my Luxie um, brush, brushes. I have, what's, uh, 215, small angle. I think I'm going to use that one. And it's about the same size 
as the one that it comes with, but it's got a longer handle on it and it's easier to use. So this is a template. So I dropped that brush. I can't get that brush. I might need it. I might need it. I don't know, but I might. Okay. And this is a Loxy 221 flat definer. Okay. I know when we use that one. Okay. So some of these brushes, I have no idea. They, I'm glad that they write it on there, what it's for. Okay, so you put it on, match it up pretty much where your brows are, right? And then you take the color. I'm going to use the blonde shade, and I'll show you in just a second what it looks like. I'm trying to put this on. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, I was gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, the blonde one. It's a lighter brown than this dark brown. Now I probably should use the dark brown, but look at how dark the blonde one is, it's like, and so then you just go through and fix it, right? And you don't want too much down in the front. I want to get them professionally done. Okay. So there's that one. Not bad. It's not overpowering. And so then you just flip it to the opposite side and do this one. I hope that you guys watching me that you get a kick out of this. Look at this lady doing this stuff. It's so funny. She don't know how to do it. <laughs> no, I don't. Nope, I don't. That's why I've got stencils and all kinds of stuff to help me out. Okay, let's go back in. And I didn't really have to use the stencil. I could have just fo followed my own brow line and did it that way. I tend to, I get little gray ones inside here and they drive me nuts. So I have to pluck those ones out. Okay, well, they're sisters, not twins. Remember that. <laughs> and so you know that they're not going to be identical. See, this one's a little darker than this one, but that's okay. All right, well, that was fun. Now we got to go in with the paste, I call it paste. It's the um, setting wax. Okay, so let's take the setting wax and these are the two that are on top. I don't know if you do that first. I lost my thing to, to do that. So I don't know, but we'll put some on anyway. Okay, now let's go in with, it's got a highlighter here. Let's use the highlighter. And I know that you, I guess a lot of girls use um, concealer to go in and with, with this part. But I'm just gonna go in this way. Huh? 
I don't know if it does any good, but I'm not a professional. I should have probably stated that in the beginning. I am not a professional. So don't take any advice from me. I'm just showing you what I do. Okay. I guess. It looks so different because I don't usually have makeup on. Okay. Brows are done. Yay. Okay, so let's put on, let's try the Too Faced one, the little one. Put that on. Okay. Now, eyeshadow primer. I have this one by LA Colors. And I have one that came in one of my little Ipsy bags. Thank me later, Elizabeth Mott. So, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try this one. And you put this on. And let's do. Hope I'm not allergic to any of this stuff. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. If it makes my eyes itch. Alright. Alright. Primer is on. Wow, there's a lot of work to this stuff. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's put on the eyeshadow, right? We're doing eyeshadow. Well, let's um let's do eyeliner. I have the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On, but I I am going to try this one. This is a Maybelline um 701 Onyx Unstoppable. And this one is waterproof, so maybe it won't run or come off after I put it on. So I'm going to try this one. If I can open the package. Let's open the package. Okay. And it even gives you little um, guides on the back. I know how to put eyeliner on. Ooh, look at that. Pencil. Okay, now this I'm going to need an up close mirror. Let's see. Okay. I am kind of old school, 80s. I always put stuff on my waterline. I don't know. It's just something that. I'm used to doing, I've always done, back in the late 80s, early 90s, they were saying, don't do that. I'm like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I always put it on the underneath, on the top line up here. And you can tell I haven't used it in a while. My eyes are watering. But... And hopefully it won't come off. The only problem is, I hope it comes off with a makeup wipe. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's do the other side. We're almost done. I just got to do eyeshadow. I couldn't find a lip pencil when I, was, when I went out to get this stuff. The stuff I was looking for. Ooh, pretty. Doesn't look good with the hair, but. Okay. See if I can stop my eyes from watering. But it's going to stay on. Okay. And then. I'll do the mascara after. I've got Manny's new palette here. Right here. 
and I'm not one for bright, bright colors. So let's, this is an eyeshadow brush, I'm sure. This is a wet and wild brush. I have a Loxy brush too. Um, for shading, okay. All right, so let's do as a base color, because I have a hooded eye, it says highlight brow bone and teardrop, I guess. Transition color on the eyelid. Light by the nose, light by the nose. The middle color, the middle of the crease, that's pretty much. Okay, so we're gonna do a lighter color up here, I guess, is what it says. So let's use um, Dust Cloud. This is Dust Cloud right there. And we'll do that up here. Up on the top. Can't see it. Can't see it. So, but we'll do that anyway. We'll do what it says. Even though you can't see it. Well, I guess you can. Okay. Okay. Now, the outer corner, the outer color, what are we going to do? Let's do a pretty, well, let's go with, because let's go with um, this fire witch color. It's like, it's like a, peachy color. We'll see how that goes on. As long as it's not too dark. We'll put that color on. Well, it's kind of pretty. It is kind of pretty. Okay. And then you can just blend it in. I put my eyes up like this so it opens it up more because I have the hooded eyes. And so that's pretty. Okay. And then for the main color, let's do what's going to go with it. I don't know, let's, um, I like that color. It's kind of gone over in. We'll just use it all the way and just, there's just a lot more on the edge. Okay, now they've got, there's a shimmery one here, um, Scorpio. It's kind of gold looking. It's kind of gold, goldy looking right here. And that goes in the middle. Then it's hard to see because, see, you can't see anything. But if I go like this, you can. <laughs> so that's okay. All right. Good for eyes. All right. And then you can just blend it in all the way and take some of this highlighter um, this Too Faced highlighter put a little bit of this on and put it in the middle here by the by your eye by your eye Actually, I have some eyeshadow that I like to use for that. This is LA Color Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with Brush. This is awesome to do that with, right in the corner. It comes with its little brush. And you add a little in there. And make it nice and shiny. Let's see. Move that out of the way. 
probably added too much there. Pretty? Purdy! Purdy! Okay. Now, <clears throat> move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. I got this eyeliner too. This is a liquid Wet n Wild H2O. I don't know how to do the. Um, I don't know how to do the, wow, that's dark. We probably won't be using that for the first time, but yeah. Okay, and I have some Q-tips here to get rid of fallout if that's what happens. Alright, so, I don't know how to do the winged thing. I am not going to learn today. <laughs> so, let's do mascara. I have three of them here, but we're going to do the one that Manny recommended. And this is Maybelline. I got the blackest black. Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. Now, if I remember right, doing lashes, you put mascara on first, and then you put, uh, you glue on the lashes, and then you put mascara on again. That's how I got taught. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. So we will put some on. I haven't received Fanya's lashes yet. They're Glam Me Up lashes. I haven't got those yet. I did order a pair from her. But she is like back ordered right now, I guess. But when they come, I'll have to do this again. But not full on. I made a mess. I made a mess. Look, you gotta wait for it to dry before you can do anything. So, lashes, I've got the Duo Adhesive White Clear, and then I have Ardell's Natural Lashes. I have other ones too, but I, I don't, these ones are not so in your face. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have to trim them. So, I need my... Tweezers! I have these lashes, too, that came... This Let's Lash It Out. These are called Annabella. And they are like... Look at those. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> but I have scissors here. And I have a pair of... This. Okay. And they are on, you can tell what side they go on because the, the smaller sides here that goes in the inner. So the, this one is for the right side. We are going to kind of match it up. It should be okay. Sometimes I trim them and sometimes I don't. And you don't want to drop it. Because then you won't be able to find it. I'll be right back. Guys. I just pushed on the glue bottle. And it all came flying out. You don't want to do that. So... And you just want to put a little bit. I think I might have to buy a new one of these. Yep. 
getting it all over the place. This stuff is like nasty. I'm getting all over me. All right, let's try to get this mascara off that I ruined on here. It probably doesn't take this long to normally do makeup, but where I'm, I haven't done this in a very long time, full on. I don't know how it's gonna work. So, trying to put this one on. <laughs> I don't remember it being this hard before. It is stuck on. Maybe. I always had a hard time in the corners. Does anybody else have a hard time with the corner? All right. There's one. So pretty. Okay, let's do the other one. Let's see if I can screw that one up too. And if you've never worn lashes before, they take a little bit of getting used to. And I haven't worn them in a long time. And I thought this always had, I think I need to get the one, the brush on kind, the glue that you can just brush on the rim. Just like make sure I don't drop this one. <laughs> I dropped the other one. All right. It, you gotta let the glue set. Okay. I think it's set enough. Oh, get on there. I have long eyelashes to begin with. So to put these on top of even longer lashes, eyelashes, is something. Look at how pretty. Slide down there. Okay. Slide down there. I think they're on. I don't think they're coming off anytime soon. I'm going to have to get some more lash glue though. I have to get some more of that. Okay. Let's put this back in here. I'll use that later. All right, let's put some mascara on those beautiful beauties. Not that it needs more, but to blend it in, I guess. Don't really need to. We will. All right. Check it out. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Now, um, don't need that anymore. We're done with that. We're coming down to the end. We've got lip. So I have this one. I have this one. And I have this one. 
this one. I'll probably use this one and put some of the gloss over it. All right, let's do this one. It smells like watermelon. And the lip, my lips are pretty defined already. And by the looks of this, a little dry. There's the pinky color. And we will put some of this gloss stuff over it. Yeah. That smells like uh, oil. Ew. Some stuff smells better than the other. Now let me go do my hair and I'll be back and I'll show you. Okay, I am back. I'm old school 80s. I, I can't not get rid of my bangs. I've tried. I don't like it. <laughs> and my hair is way along. It's my natural hair. And there's a finished look. I want to show you what I use. This is my curl and iron that I use. It's called Hot Tools Signature Series. I had the old version of this and it finally died and my husband got me this one for Christmas because I did not want, I've got several other curling irons and I hate them. This is my favorite one. So there's my curling iron, it's still hot. So I gotta put this where it won't hurt nothing. And I use chai or chi, uh, volume booster and iron guard. I love the smell of this one. I don't know why they smell so differently, but I spray this just in my hair to make it smell good. Because <laughs> it smells good. Although my husband doesn't like it. I use those. And then I use um, Joico. The sticker's still on here. Um, Power Spray 810. It's for fast dry finishing spray. I use. I got this from my hair salon. So, and if, this is several days without washing my hair. So I am, um, it's pretty long. I had it up in a braid, so that's why it's got that um, bounce to it. But typically I will curl it all the way around, all the way around, but it's long. So there you go, guys. There's a 50 plus makeup. <laughs> How I do it now, it looks way different than it did when I was younger, but still looks good. But appreciate you watching. Thanks. I hope you got a kick out of it. Um, any tips, let me know. Like that one I was saying, there was two of them. Uh, the contour thing and what was the other one? Contour. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't remember the other one. If I, when I go back to edit this, I will look for it and I'll write it down. So there you go, guys. All done. We will see you again soon. Bye. Sorry it's so long, but it took me forever and I was trying to do it right. So bear with me. Thank you for watching. Any tips, let me know. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye now.